Right, we cheated and turned the fucking difficulty too easy because fuck everything about levelling as much as this game wants to. It's the first game ever I've played where you have about 30 to 45 minutes of story. It seems longer because of the episodes, but there's grinding in that and there's also me enlarging the story scenes and then after 30 minutes going, right, grind an hour now, will you? It's like, no. <laughs> so it's now easy. Uh, first of all, we need to put this over here, and, uh, I'm hoping it, because it's easy, we won't actually need a potion. We'll take one just in case, maybe four bums is probably enough. This is a robbery? It's a robbery to see what our mums is, great. Also, this is the defense. I, I, I guess we're going in, huh? Yeah, it's started. Through the sewers! The sisters decide to approach the estate through the sewers. Ah, she'd have known we wouldn't be alone down here. Why would you think you are? A pack of giant rats attack the sisters. Of course they do. Okay, well, these are all... Let's put this... Let's just put me down here for now time. Okay, these are all demonstrably weaker than the last lot were. <laughs> they are really weak. <laughs> they are almost all dying to bombs. None of which I can use at the moment, but... We leveled up, so we good. None of you can do- you know, I'll just throw a bomb at you, why not, right? Let's just- let's just use one now! You guys can see it's because it's story mission, right? We low rolled again on the bomb, which it's getting a bit silly. Then we're picking on you... Oh my god, we deal more damage now, it's uneasy. This- this dealt seven or eight beforehand, it now deals ten! Fucking hell, we hit like a truck! Alright, whatever. And now we hit for eleven! So you turn it to easy and then suddenly, yeah, you hit like a truck. Got it. We didn't even need to use the bombs. Two hits of these will kill anything. Well, whatever. Talia dies, but she doesn't need to live anyway. Also, they really don't hit hard at all now. They they used to hit, again, like trucks. Ah, well, we missed. And Talia died. It's fine. We can revive her somehow. Uh, yeah, fireball and then hit you in the face. We did it! Oh, God, they missed. <laughs> We did it! Yay! I am the greatest. More than the greatest to me. Right, well, we're fucking miles off level 5, so obviously that was never going to happen. And let's now you move you back up there. The sisters climb into the estate through the grate in the cellar. Okay. There's also gold to steal, which is amusing. Through here we go. I found this chest while searching. It looks like a very nice place. The lock is simply enough... <laughs> Simple enough, you mean. <laughs> the lock is simply enough. That'll do. Just give me a moment. There's a real gem in here. Why would they keep such a powerful object in such a place? I don't know, because they don't know what it is. They don't care. I, I don't know. Nobles don't know the value of anything. They probably just thought it was a fancy bauble among many. Oh, wow. Why would I ever sell that? That looks amazing. Right. Where do I... Can I not go to the party screen? I can't, right? No, I can. Lol. I guess this is being equipped. Uh, yep. And then, yep. And then put it in there. There we go. And now she's an absolute beast. Then they won't notice if it's missing then. Exactly. I don't know why you suddenly feel conscious about this. Oh god, there's a lot of things. I dread to think this encounter at fucking level 5. Look how much attack everything has. Alright, well, Talia's definitely dying. She's not surviving this. We'll throw a bomb at this. Nah, there's gonna be a boss. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that yet. How many turns do we get until we get a turn? So we could feasibly just kill this in two hits. See how it goes, I guess. They're just throwing rocks at her. <laughs> Fair enough. So now they're hitting Joanne, which I, I guess that's fine. Retired Mage, Elite Guard, uh, you have like no attack whatsoever. Uh, defense even. What did he just do? Protect? Well then it was a good idea to start smacking on you then, wasn't it? Wait, what? I hit this one, why is it hitting the other? Oh, so it... Does this not do what I think it is? I guess we'll start hitting him then. <laughs> I, I don't understand how that works, I'll be honest with you. But if we're going to do this, we're just going to smack him like this. Uh, the mage is almost dead. We should have used an ability with her if we're being picky. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Well, rip, whatever. Don't get. They do not hit hard enough for me to give a damn, unfortunately. 
Uh, it'd be nice if they stopped missing, honestly. Got, there's a lot of very low damage rolls. It won't matter, though, because we're on easy. We hit like a truck and they hit like a small dog. I know where that analogy was going. Come on, just finish him off. 90%. We have definitely rolled lower than 90%. Yeah, okay, we hit for 20. That was a crit. I'll smack you in the face. We don't need bombs. Not now we're playing on baby difficulty. Smack him in the face. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. 63 XP, so we basically got close to nothing. That was, that's just like a bunch of rats in the sewers. This man lives well for a retired clerk. Maybe he's not a retired clerk. What do you mean? This house is too big. He has too much money. What's the problem? It just means more for us. This is not a robbery. We're here to find clues about our mother. Well, the 500 gold the menu's telling me I can get begs to differ. I know, I know. One more room. I found this just while searching. The lock is simply enough. Again, simply enough. Oh my lord. Plus one defense and five HP. Honestly, with the, with the amount that they're... Oh, no, it's not here. It's... Uh, uh, that one. Uh, with the amount that they're hitting Talia and Joanne, it might just be worth sticking that on them. For Tebants, as it were. There you go. Confirm. Uh, no. This one. Into the next boss room, I presume this is. What are we doing down here? We found nothing on the upper floor, so perhaps the clerk is hiding his archives down here. Between a sausage and a sack of beans? Over here. Found some drink, did you? Did... No, you're looking for your mother and she's still getting distracted by drink. Shut up, I found a box full of documents, you were saying, Talia? The sisters quickly searched through all the documents, found something. What does it say? We'll read it on the way back up. We're not just taking all the documents. What if you've got the wrong fucking one? Oh no, sorry, this isn't it, because our mother's called, I don't know, Balia. And this one says it's addressed to Kalia. <sighs> a low rumbling growl startled the sisters. A giant bear loomed out of the shadows, charging towards the sisters. A bear? How the hell did a bear get in here? Who on Avaron keeps a bear in the cellar? I knew someone who did that, although they didn't keep it in a cellar. That doesn't matter. Oh, how much shelter does it have? We have bombs that deal 20. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It also has close to, like, no attack and no speed. So Talia will get, like, a million turns. Hang on, let's, let's actually just put me there for the time being. Yeah, so we get five turns to his one, then he gets another. Okay. How much did he hit for? Like, seven? We could just hit this thing, right? Fuck it, why not? I'll even chain him. Oh, it only works for one. Well, whatever. We'll just keep him stun I wonder how difficult this fight is in medium. I should really go back and look. Oh my god, he hit for 10. So basically, we can just do this and it's fine. So chain so he doesn't get an attack now where he should. He still does. I, oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> it's just an auto clicker at this point. It's like Sakura clicker. Oh, wait, you can't do that, can you? Alright, final click on the swords and we win. Hooray! How much XP did we get? 37. There you go. XP in this game fucking makes no sense. I don't get it. Well, uh, I, I guess we're ending the robbery mission. I don't know how we've missed out on 210 gold. You guys saw me just fucking bundle through RNG, I guess. So what did you find? Well, we found one document and choose to uh, leave, Lysander. We found some records of mother's arrest, but no record of a court case or notice of execution. They could have been lost. That would be unlikely. The clerk's other records were meticulous. What the fuck did you even look for them? You found one document and fucked off. You now check it. You're now telling me that you found other documents. Uh-huh. It's still not great. Raoul might have just had her killed quietly and bribed the clerk. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look at the size of the clerk's house. It's way too big. Everyone back then is either dead or has a big house. My gut tells me there is something more to this, but it's not enough. Oh, oh, look at here, the paragon of all things clever. I see. I'm going out for a walk. I need to think about this. All right, sure. Let me guess, the guard comes along? You told me that this was prove Ariana was alive, but it proves nothing. Doesn't it show there was never a court case? No execution? That doesn't mean she is alive. Do you honestly think someone like the Queen of Thieves would not have a very public execution? 
I don't know. Probably? No! Like, not everyone has to be fucking killed a la public execution, Jesus. Then calm down. This still doesn't help us get closer to finding or freeing her. Trust me, your actions will start to distract your foes soon enough. But you are going to need to gather more evidence and materials. I suppose you wish to be paid again. Of course, you won't appreciate the journey without a cost. That is... What? No. Tolls on motorways are always a pain, even though I'm driving along a really nice road. It's still annoying to pay a fiver every time. A thousand again. Five thousand this time. What? That's outrageous. You got a thousand easy enough. You require greater challenge. The fuck are you, my mother? This is not some kind of contest. You're right, it isn't. That's why I require money. For what purpose? That is my own business. Trust me, it's going to be a good cause. Farewell, Lysander. Come to this place again once you have the money. Lysander walked away, grumbling to himself. He felt more and more like he was being conned. How long until the stranger revealed he would be unable to really help them? Still, this was the only really way, the only way he knew how to find his wife. He hoped his daughters would understand. They'll probably do it regardless. I'll let you know if that changes, though. The lack of music here is actually really annoying. <laughs> I hate silence. It, it's the worst. Welcome to your new home, Ariana. This is happening now, or is this happening in the past? When it did say it was... I don't know, I remember seeing our Boris before, but that just means tree, doesn't it, sir? So, eh. You won't be here long, and... You won't be here long, although how peasant... Pleasant you'll stay here is, is up to you. Hang on, is this what she looks like now? No, this has to have happened like 10 or 20 years ago. Their sprites haven't changed. Someone looking exactly the same but having a scar under their eye does not a character older make. Why are you hiding the things you have taken? Or where are you? I gave it away. I don't have anything hidden. Liar, no thief would truly give away everything. You just spread that myth to make you popular with the people. Believe what you want. Remove your dress. Excuse me? Remove your dress or the guards will remove it for you. Your guards won't stand a chance if they try anything. Do as I say or I will revisit your family. Ariana removed her dress. Satisfied? God, I was hoping I, I didn't have to get out the old sensor again. <laughs> now, tell me where you hid your ill-gotten gains. I told you I didn't keep any of it. Thomas shook his head. Very well, remove your undergarments. Planning to rape me, are you? Oh god, all of the trigger warnings. You will come away missing the required parts. Please, I have no interest in such things with you. I don't see how you're getting laid elsewhere, buddy. I really don't know how to tell you this, but it's not working, is it? I have my reasons. Now strip or be stripped. Ariana removed the last of her clothing, handing them to the guards through the cell door. <laughs> um... I guess, and I'll just edit it out. Oh, this is a bad idea. Humans find comfort in clothing. Do I have to edit that? I don't know. Yeah, probably it's YouTube, you know what they're like. Removing such barriers can break weaker subjects. I know you enough that this will not break you alone, but I already see your will weakening. So tell me, where did you hide the things you took? I told you I gave it all away. Liar. I'm not lying, you can do what you like, but it's not going to change the truth. Have you thought of just keeping one thing behind, just to prove to them? Guards, fetch the hammers. The hammers? Fuck. Thomas, stop this for now. But my lord, you can continue the interrogation later. Oh, Vlad the Impaler showed up. What do you look like? <laughs> one interrogation. Ha! 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 Jesus. I've just received news which Ariana must see. What could possibly merit interrupting my interrogation? Trust me, you will see. It might accomplish what your hammers will not. Very well, my lord, as you command. That was that, was it? Great. Next plot mission le recommended level. Ten. Ten! Ten! On normal difficulty, they want you to require another five levels after... 14 minutes of story. Fuck anyone who plays this game on Expert. It is not worth it at all. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? Christ, we had characters dying on easy, although we were, to be fair, just like smacking them in the face and hoping for the best. But like, come on. 
All right. Um, you definitely don't gain enough um anything to m merit what they're doing here. Oh, now we can get ten to twenty gold. Apparently, we're superstars now. Right? Can it's, it, can we now talk to different people? Oh, for the love of God! Okay, whatever. Yeah, attend shop. Then we'll go back to the map. Well, that's one. That's two. Okay, sweet. Let's just get it out in order. The market was full of drunks tonight. Clearly a lot of them had gone to visit the tavern earlier than usual. Was there something special on today that she did not know about? Kira sighed. She would like to go to the tavern to find out, but there was things at the market she had to pick up. Father and Joanne had been very firm that she not visit the tavern on the way home from her errand. It irritated her, but getting scolded was worse than going without a drink for a little while longer than she would like. A boy suddenly burst from the crowd, a bag clutched under his arm as he pushed past her and vanished down between two stalls. That, yeah, that, guards and so on. Kira opened her mouth to shout at him, Stop, thief! She closed her mouth and turned, instinctively taking a step back as she saw Tiberius and two guards charging towards her. Had her family secret been uncovered? You just shouted, Stop, thief. Tiberius, I... Tiberius stopped in front of Kira, panting softly. Did you see which way the boy went? Kira tried very hard to not let the relief that washed over her appear on her face. Kira opened her mouth to shout at him. Stop, thief! Everyone, I just saw a thief! Had her... You just saw a thief! What the fuck do you think they're running after, you prick? <sighs> it helped that she still had three guards standing in front of her who looked like they were out for blood. Just what had the boy stolen? She was not sure what to do. On one hand, she was sympathetic to the boys and she was guilty of similar, but on the other hand, Tiberius would make him less likely suspect her family. It was a hard decision. She clearly had a few mo only a few moments to make it. No, she had a few seconds. All this thinking that she's doing is already making her too slow. I don't know. Would one get relationship up? That one was a third. That one was nothing. That one really doesn't get it down too much, and... This one barely goes up. Okay, sweet. Right, well, yeah, he ran between the two stalls. The little fucker goes stick a knife through his heart. Tiberius nodded. Thank you. She watched the three of them charge off. A few minutes later, they emerged with the boy held tightly by the two guards. Tiberius held the bag the boy had been carrying in his hands. Thank you, Kira. The boy's notorious in this town. What did he steal? He snatches the bags of the merchants in this market when they're on their way to pay their taxes. Many of these people are going hungry because of this greedy boy. It's not greed, I need it. No, you don't, you're the son of a nobleman. Kira's eyes widened, but why? You're going to be in trouble for opening your mouth, Captain. I'm not afraid of your parents, boy. Now come along, perhaps a night in the cells will remind you to act like a proper young man. This scene makes no sense and is ridiculous. The guards walked on, holding the struggling boy between them firmly. Tiberius paused and looked over his shoulder at the warrior. Thank you again, Kira. You saved a family from debtor's prison. Kira smiled a little. She felt bad at first, thinking that she had betrayed a starving orphan boy, but seeing that it was just an act had squashed that guilt in a heartbeat. She was glad she had helped Tiberius. Was there a comma necessary there? Hopefully he would suspect her and her family less now. Kira sighed, now to get back to those errands. And it's daytime, which means we can't talk to anyone, right? Nope, it's still the same as normal. Attend shop, and then Thajala will be outside, right? Because she was last night? Yep, cool. Dang. It was always cold at the docks at night. Doesn't look like night. It looks like dawn again. <laughs> like, this area here is very, very light for it to be night. It was always, yeah, no warm coastal sun to warm the air, only the cool winds from the sea. Joanne did not feel the cold badly, although she preferred it when it was warmer. She wasn't a sun worshipper like her sister Kira, though. The girl seemed to enjoy lazing under the sun as little clothing as decorum permitted. Kira? Sure. Amid the gloom and the crowd of drunken sailors, Joanne spotted a familiar white-robed figure. 
Good evening, Sajala. The elf looked around, her eyes widening very slightly before her usual blank expression returned. Good evening, Joanne. I did not expect to meet anyone familiar at this time of night. I thought you'd be in the woods like usual. I come to the docks regularly to accept shipments from my homeland. I travel often, but I always make sure to keep my home appraised of my whereabouts. Accept shipments? That's not how you let someone know that where you are, is it? Uh, why? To receive word from my family, and also because there are just some things you cannot get outside Elvish lands. Like various ingredients, amongst other things. Oh, I see. And you get these weekly? You must go through a lot of things. Often it is just letters from home. I only receive more on occasion. Who do you write to? You are rather curious about my business. We're having a fucking conversation. This is how this works. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry- We were having a conversation and she was answering. It's only natural we just keep going. I think that is not true, but it matters not. I simply write to friends, fellow scholars and family. Nothing special. Do you ever miss your home? Sometimes, but I've travelled for so long now I can feel... At home in most places. Okay, see? So that's what it's called to be a journeyman. Eventually I will return home, but for now I... Still have much to learn and discover. Joanne frowned, wondering why her heart ached a little at the idea of the Jala leaving. Had they become that close already? It did not feel that way. No, is the uh, short and sweet answer to that. No, they had not come that close already. That would be ridiculous. The sound of pounding feet interrupted the mage's thoughts. Glancing to the side, she noted a sailor walking towards him with a fairly large sack. <laughs> oh, hello. You got a lot today, miss. Are you sure you can handle this? I will thank you. I will be fine. The Jala quickly paid the sailor and bent down to pick the sack at her feet. Joanne did not think someone as skinny as the Jala could lift such a load even as tall as she was. Your backside looks magnificent when you bend over like that. I'm not sure you should do that with all these drunken sailors about. Hmm. Do you just not want help from the sailor because you want to prove something? Here, let me help you. Do you need some help with that? It looks very heavy. Down. I want to see just what, just how bad this is. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, she does not want to say that. Do you want some help with that? Nope, so it's the other one. Here, let me help you. Despite being an elf and obviously faster, Joanne somehow manages to grab the sack and pick it up before the Jala could react. What are you doing? Please give that to me. I told you I'm helping. Now where are we going? The elf sighed. I lodge at the temple if you insist on carrying this burden. Let's go then. The two of them walked out of the docks and onto the street leading to the temple in silence. Have you thought more about teaching me? A little, I may, but I am extremely busy between my research and my temporary duties as the town healer. My predecessor clearly exploited his talents to earn a substantial living in this town. There are many who require my care who were mistreated or ignored by that man. It takes up much of my time. Oh, God forbid you heal the needy. <laughs> oh, I have to heal people for a living! What's your job title? Healer! I'm sorry to hear that. Did your family suffer because of him? Joanne paused for a moment, considering on how best to answer. It did not feel like admitting she was fairly new to town. To would be an issue, but there was always the worry of giving away anything, especially what she and her sisters were up. We only moved here recently to take up the vacant shop near the market. You've probably been there longer than I have. Here, even. I see. The mage, mage grimace. Perhaps she should have not have said as much. It's about fucking... I, I get walking on eggshells, but come on, guys. You can't socialise and say nothing to anyone. It is difficult to be a stranger in a small town. You are inherently distrusted. It does not help when there is a plague of thievery among the nobility. They are distrustful of outsiders, perhaps even more than the ordinary citizens. There aren't many elves in this part of the world. No, there are not. Becoming the healer has led to some acceptance. However, it allows me to continue research in peace. This is fantastically fascinating. What do you actually research? The applications of different plants and other substances unique to each land. I've got that sounds, yep, yeah, thrilling. I also, yep, yeah, cool. Uh, so my studies in this land are purely on the different unique flora and minerals available here. Truthfully, I would be moving out soon if it were not for my responsibilities as healer. I think it would be a shame if you were leaving so soon. Why? Joanne felt her face growing a little warm. She was sure it was not the tiredness of hauling this heavy load across the town. No, it's the... Terrible, awful story. I enjoy talking to you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, perhaps you should travel to my homeland. You can find many things like me there. She bit her lip. That was not what she meant. Perhaps I like... I feel like being the only human subject 
amongst elves would be pretty difficult. Are kind of not that insular. We have pretty humans there for study or just to, to study. Oh, Jesus. I see! The pair paused outside the temple gates. If you would like to give me the sack now, the priest will throw you out if you enter during this time of night. Joanne laughed nervously and quickly passed the sack to the elf. While doing so, her hand brushed against the Jala's. Oh, it's true romance. Her heart skipped a beat. The elf's skin was soft and warm. She wanted to feel more, but that would have been awkward. Instead, she did as she asked and stepped away. Did you tire yourself out? Why? Your face is flushed with colour. Oh, yes, that is probably it. I get what's going on here. You don't need to... I should go home and get something to drink to help me cool down. The Jala nodded. That is wise. Yay. Soon she'll be thieving with us. Fucking hope she will anyway. Good night, Joanne. Safe journey home. The same to you. Joanne watched the Jala until the temple gates closed and she could see the elf no more. She was becoming fascinated with this mysterious woman. She was unlike any... Anyone she'd ever encountered. They've spoken... This is like, what, the third or fourth time they've spoken? Ever? Looking at her hand, she briefly... Yeah, cool. Anyway. Well, this is thrilling, isn't it? Um... There's no one we can talk to again. Right, on to the next episode. We need to fucking grind to, like... Oh, fucking level 10. Who in their right mind would find this fun? You need to reward players with story. Not just grind for, like, an hour. Which is more or less what I did. Probably slightly longer. In between, like, you know, cutting things out and so on. And then reward them with 14 minutes of story. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, until next time, I guess. Stop recording.